super team led by the super mid lane Froggen. Yeah, speaking of Froggen, quick shot, the Spring Split MVP had a record-breaking performance of his own last week against Rocket. Yeah, that incredible game on Oriana. He ended up setting the record for the fastest 300 creep score in LCS history. This dog Bindings almost certainly will be another death for him. He's going to throw it out. No, tries to throw it blind. He doesn't catch it. No! He gets in. Let's bounce comes in. Maluno gets locked up. He gets dropped. Frog and picks up the kill there. Crescendo comes across, catches three members. Shockwave on towards one, but look at Frog in his cleaning house. Gets himself a triple. Gets himself a quad. For Freddy, he's going to have to use that dragon descent to get across, but he's going to find himself Frog and using that ultimate passes straight through the wall. He's going to get the pop. Not enough. Yes, it is. It will. He's in trouble. There is the decoy. The Cyclone gonna catch up, pick it. So we're flashed away from what a flash from Frogan. They pick Target. He might even go for Svenska when he goes in, but of course he's gonna have to stealth and now onto Enraged. He's dived on Enraged, maybe not the target, but he manages to get it nonetheless. But there's Frogan. Oh, cool. He's trying here, he's doing his best and he's getting the results from it as well. Frogan stuns up another one. Diamond now slow from the ulti. The wall comes in. He's slowly but surely going down. It's a double kill for Frogan. Gets a second. Can he get the third? It doesn't matter because Frogan's back door and he's taken down two. Next is turn. He's not going to be out quite yet. This next is surely to come. He can't get away from this one. Oh, he's going to get taken down. Oh, 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 oh. The minions. The minions are on the Nexus. He does go down, but the minions are going to take it. He's got it. I do not believe what Frogan just. Two seconds. One second. Final spark back up. Frogan just waiting to catch the test. Does pick him up. Goes legendary for the, the kill. Now Froggen is chasing down Dan oh. Frogs who dodged a stun and then walked straight into it afterwards. Let's see if we can get away from Froggen who's actually going to be going through the tower here with this one. And there is a stun oh, coming down brilliant. again. It lands and the ace coming out. And the, and the problem for Gambit, right? Oh, I tell you what, go oh, on. That's what we used to see it from Froggen. Just controls him with the wall, the stun. Great mistake on this side. Pick is going for Froggen. Pick is going in, but I'm not sure Froggen's too, too worried about that's when he had his exhaust back available. Okay, Trevor the might go down and toys with the file is gonna take away. We get very low, gets stuck by the wall of pain, is gonna get taken out by cards in there. To back off, but Frog can get another mind against the slow. Not quite yet. Way out chasing down Yellow Beam. He gets the Triforce Frog and gonna kill him. A bit of aggressive here on Froggen. He's going to turn this one around. He's got the support of Nip. Will they go for the tower dive? The pop is not enough. And the stun. And the bench could be coming in. Oh, he's going to pull him. Yes, he is. The ignite. Not sure. Yeah, he is. What's going to say? The ultimate to try and kick him out, but he's going to be the sacrificial lamb for the Super Hot Group. Kill goes across to Impaler. Now we see a frog oh. coming in. Explosive gas just decimates Selfie where he stands. He's going for a second. He's going to have to rebel straight back on this one. Has he got the rock? Beautiful. He does. All building towards the bottom lane getting shoved in here. Varus of Yellow Peak oh, no. shoving around there. They may catch on towards that race. Oh, oh, that. Just decimated by Froggen. Literally. Look at this. Froggen will spot high. Get the stun. Gets the slow one too. Has he got the damage to finish up? Stun backed away onto the red buff. Ultimate coming out. Oh. And the Froggen man is going to land. Now Shook's in trouble. He's going to get caught out the side. Wicked's going to join in. Froggen manages to get on towards Mr. Rallis. Mr. Rallis goes down. Impaler on to Tamso. Can he land on towards him? A great stun comes out from Froggen. He gets himself in there. Three. Nif is going to try and get a rage. Struck's going to get focused on Frog and he's untouched on the side. He's getting free hits. Jumps in, pounces down, gets himself a double. Loops across. Candy Panic goes down. It's the triple. Guns across. Gets the quadra kill. Jess is going to be focused. He spoils the party. Uh, it really shows how much he masters that champion. Um, I just I just wrote him down in the list, so I'm just going to go over them real quick. First of all, there's the, what he calls a Telic port. Where he actually managed to still teleport away in his egg out of like these tricky situations. Then, uh, when his spell usage, most people would use the stun, uh, the Q, proc it, wait until they see that I actually hits, and then use his E. No, Frogan is so confident that he's gonna hit it. He sends out his Q. While it is flying, he will follow up with his E, and they will impact at roughly the same time for like a ginormous amount of damage. Then, in this matchup, he put three points into Q when he had two points in, into E. So at level five, he had three points into Q. Didn't do anything in the wall, so he's going for that wave clear. Just like these little things that he changes in every matchup, it just shows how smart he is. So matchups against Kassan, for example, he would run 15 AD just to harass him out of lane. And then when it comes to his build, yeah, it looks trolly, but that's after he succeeds because he...
started with the Chalice for Mana Region. He doesn't up for the tier anymore because he wants to build it eventually into an Athens for more CDR. Then he gets the Zonias because he needs that against the Zed. And once these items are complete and he's in full Froggen mode, then there's the variation. <laughs> I think the Warmux was a, a tribute to what his old tier Magi yeah. Warmux build. He should have probably gone random instead, but who am I to disagree with the King? <laughs> and then, yeah, the fact that he can get 20 stacks on his. Um, on his mage, I just shows how good he is. And then the last point, and then I'm done ranting about Anivia, <laughs> is when he was chasing Lee Sin, he would place his wall, but he wouldn't fully block off uh, the path. He wouldn't completely block off the Lee Sin to prevent him from dashing over and going away. So he he would do like a half wall block, forcing the Lee Sin to change his path enough for the team to catch up and kill him. But in case the Lee Sin had flash or dash over the wall, Froggen still had a way to walk through and didn't have to burn his flash. So there's all these like tiny things that just show how much he masters his champion. It's amazing to see. It's I just pick champions uh, all the girls like.